Hey guys, it's Joshua Pollard again with at just an oil guy. On this video, I'm going to talk to you about field rules, uh, mainly acreage spacing and uh, production limits. Uh, depending on the play, depending on where you're at, uh, you have spacing rules as well as production rules. You can only produce so much in a day, you have to have so many acres for a while. Um, I'm going to use Texas Railroad Commission as an example. Uh, the Texas Railroad Commission was put over the oil and gas industry, especially with the giant East Texas oil field, because so much oil was being produced, it got to where it was basically worthless, and they started dumping it in creeks, rivers, worst things you can imagine. So they set these rules in terms of spacing, how far you had to be from another lease, all these things in production to kind of curb that. Uh, believe it or not, OPEC is very closely modeled after the Texas Railroad Commission uh, in terms of production, things of that nature. They actually studied the Texas Railroad Commission for many years before forming OPEC. Uh, this one I'm just going to use the Post Oak Conglomerate because it's where one of my leases are. Um, if you Google Texas Railroad Commission field rules, you can actually pull it up if you're looking at a deal in Texas and see um, if they're saying they're going to drill a 7,000 foot well but only have 10 acres, that's not going to happen. They say they're going to produce 500 barrels a day at 2,000 foot depth, that's not going to happen. Unless, of course, it's, if it's a wildcat, then you get leeway. But very few, if anybody, grows a wildcat anymore. So, okay, here it is in a nutshell. This is what it looks like when you pull it up and search. Post up conglomerate. Uh, for my area, it's going to be gas. You can do 1200 MCF a day. And then on the depths, 2000 feet and above, you can do two acre spacing. 2,000 to 3,000, 10 acres, 3,000 to 5,000, 20 acres, 5,000 and deeper is 40 acres. Tolerance, we, it, that's a little more complex for YouTube, but uh, give you an idea. So when you look at a deal and if they're saying, oh, we, we have the chance to make 300 barrels a day, blah, 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 go check the field rules. If it's in a state different than Texas, typically, Put the state name in Google, go to Google, put the state name, say Oklahoma, and then if you type oil and gas commission, typically it will pop up and you can do all the research there. Um, I highly, highly recommend learning how to use the state commission sites. Some are better than others, some suck, but having that knowledge is very important for looking at oil and gas deals. Um, that's basically it for that. Uh, if you have any questions, as always, my email is below. You can email me. Um, please like, subscribe, and follow me on Twitter at Just an Oil Guy. Have a good one.